GIS, uh, Game of Germany, Sitcom. GIS, no. This is just a China that yeah. I don't use for Shalom. Okay, let's yeah. go. Say Shalom. Hey, Shalom. This is GMS Germany together with GMS Italy again. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor unto Yahweh. Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Ba'asham, Double honors to the elders and apostles of the millstone who told us the truth, peace, and blessings, and salutations. To the elect of the explain this truth and sincerity. And also charity across the four winds. So back with another life lesson. Um, today's my last day in Italy. Very beautiful trip. Very spiritual and um, uplifting time that we spent together over here. You know, um, the brother Halam is not with us today, but he was with us the last, I think, six days. Was it? Six right. days. And um, the brother and I decided to go live because you watched this video, a part of the video of the brother Danya Allah um, that actually uh, passed away, man. You know, he passed away believing in Yahweh Bashem Shai and this um, gave us inspiration for this title, you know, for, hey, our regards to his brothers and also uh, to the brothers that are with him and also to his family. But um, this inspired this title, this could be your last day, man, you know, because you have to always remember and always think about, hey, the every father can, as he gave your life, he can also take your life away. So you always should remember that. and. This brother, um, if I understood right, he had um, a very um, rare type of can that uh, type of cancer. So he's actually in peace right now, man. So the heaven for that mercy upon him, you know, and all praise to our Bashim Yahshai for that. But nevertheless, this should remind us that we a hey, have to understand this could be our last day, you know. So what you, what are you willing to do in the last day, maybe for you for the heavenly Father? Because even how Shai said, don't think about tomorrow. Can you uh, grab this? You got a preset? Oh. Um, you got a preset, just bring it up. I wanted to bring out, you know, you were speaking about the Most High, you know, gives life and death. I think it's um, Deuteronomy 30, 32, 32 and 39. And 39. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, from verse 39. It quotes, See now that I, even I, I am E, and there is no God with me. I kill. And I make a life, I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So, as the brother was saying earlier, that you know uh, the, the issues of life and death all depends on the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. We don't know about tomorrow. Our life, our life is not promised tomorrow. You know, okay. the Most High can decide to to take the life anytime he wants, and no one can question that. But you know, we through the Spirit. You know, we know that the brother Dan Yahala, uh, he has is he has actually been liberated from 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 the great times of tribulation that are about to come, yep. from the great pains that he was he was facing. You know, it's a liberation because this is one thing that you get to understand when you come into this truth that uh, death, death is a scam. Nothing, there's nothing like death. Okay, it's only the body that dies. The spirit returns to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Which in, uh, in 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 um, in two or three generations it gets reincarnated. Three or four. Three or four. Sorry, so it's, it's lucky. Sure. In in three or four generation it gets reincarnated again. Yeah. So death, death is a is a scam. Okay. The thing is, you have to understand that, like the brother was going into, we're really in peace when we when when we die and our spirit be released from this chain of darkness. We're in peace with Heavenly Father. So that's why I said, actually, it's like the brother also mentioned. That about Daniel Allah, he, he mentioned also that he's in peace right now, man. This man is in peace right now with the Heavenly Father. And like the brother beautifully mentioned, he got preserved, he got protected from the times to come. You know, he doesn't have to go to Jacob's trouble. You know, he doesn't have to go to this time of tribulation that we are about to enter into. But nevertheless, what should we learn from that, from that, um, uh, from that um, situation? That we always have to maintain the faith, that we always have to keep the faith. Because this could be your last day, you know, and of course we we move in balance and we move in uh, um in righteousness according to faith. But nevertheless, we always have to keep the faith, maintain the faith, n n no matter what happens. So uh, uh, precept precept? For you, you know. yeah, let me just read this real quick, and then uh, you can get this precept. This is the book of Matthew, chapter six, 
and 33 says but seek ye first the kingdom of the most high and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you take therefore no thought for the morrow for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof so Yahweh was mentioning hey, don't worry about the next day don't worry about your clothes your food because the next day has enough evil you know every day has enough evil for itself so don't worry about the next day so think about what you can do today for the heavenly father why do you think the other apostles are always pushing upon us the spirit to push harder for the truth because they know what the situation is we could be taken out you could be taken out tomorrow you know that's good now to add to what the brother was saying you know um this is the book of james chapter 4 mm -hmm. the point is um the point is at verse 13 but mm -hmm. I am going to read from verse 7 and then later jump. So okay. verse 7 says, Submit yourselves therefore to the Most High Yahweh Bashemel Shai, resist the devil, and will flee from you. And you know, I just this just reminds me of uh, the one of the last videos the brother Dan Yahala did where he was giving a testimony, you know, of the pains that you know he had to go through. Mm -hmm. And that video that he made was really um uh, um uh uh, a, oh. faith, a powerful faith boosting video to the Akiam that are always complaining, man. You know, the most I actually made this brother go through, you know, uh, heavy parts, man, in which you have different brothers going through different heavy parts, you know. So, when you find whenever you find yourself in a situation, you should always remember there is another brother that is going through worse than your situation. You know, this brother had um, he had a, a rare kind of um, blood disease. Leukemia, was leukemia, leukemia, okay. Yeah, I think it was he had um, cancer and he complained about the heavy pains that he had to, you know, yeah. go through all day, you know. And he still did his videos. And he still did his videos. He still went out to camp. He still went out to camp. Come on. You know? You know. So certain men should really take a take an example of this man. Because we all go through things, we all go through our sufferings, but nevertheless we have to keep on moving. As a matter of fact, let me let, because I have a scripture in mind, let me just pull that real quick. And um Ah, the preacher wasn't done, right? No, it wasn't done. Yeah, you can so in verse 18, it says, Draw nigh to the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, and will draw nigh to you. Mm -hmm. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double minded. You see, the brother was not double minded in his part, you know. This was the trial that, um, that um, Job had as well. Job, everything was taken out of Job's hand, you know. Job was stripped off everything. The only thing he had left was his breath, just like the brother Daniel Allah going through hell. I think a few years before he had the accident with a fire that he got a third degree burn, yeah. you know, something very, very painful. And he made mention in this last video that uh, the pain that, he, he, that he, he, he faced in this um, fire is nothing to be compared to the pain that he's been going through. Yeah. You know, and he said here, yeah, the, 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 the pain, the burning was severe, man. Severe, yeah, it, it was, was a third degree or something, yeah. or something like that. And no. then on top of that, he mentioned even he got that because he uh, didn't want to take the responsibility that the Heavenly Father um, wanted to give him oh. in the camp. So he understood that this was a, what is it? A chastisement, a correction, oh. you know? But this shows that the Heavenly Father does what he wants because this man had this disease already. He was fighting with it already. The Heavenly Father gave him more, you know? Why? Because the Heavenly Father knew he can handle it. Uh, because he of first Corinthians, there exactly. is no there is no there is no um, temptation. No temptation that you can yeah. you can handle you know first Corinthians 10 and 13 I think is it. Okay. Yeah. that's what it is man so you have to understand the emperor are going to give you what you are able to handle but to all the situations you have to maintain the faith because this could be your last day okay. you know and this is what this is why of course a certain day is passed by where you don't do the things that you're supposed to um, or want to let me say like that that you don't that you want to do like yeah like paul said the things that i want to do i do not I but do things not, that i don't want to do i do okay but nevertheless in all the spirit of time you have to maintain the faith you have to always maintain the faith in the lord no matter what and that's the most important thing you know because what was it i think the other uh, pastor Rumble mentioned it one time he said like what was the last thing that you did for the lord man because that was count this is what counts your last action for the lord you know because think about it we are every day blessed with another day in this world. The Heavenly Father opens our eyes and let us be alive in this world. So we have to praise Him for that, man. We have to serve Him for that. And like I said, man, you won't be able to... Even the Elsa Pastors mentioned, they do two videos a day, three videos a day sometimes. They say even a day passed by, I don't do a video, but the next day I do more. 
So you have to find the right balance for you, but nevertheless, it's all about the faith. God. Because your faith follows you until the end, you know? And uh, let me read this real quick, because the brother mentioned that he wasn't double-minded. Um, this is 2 Timothy chapter 2, and let me start at verse 1. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Yahweh Shai. God, be strong in the grace that yeah. is in Yahweh Shai, because you see, this is that grace period, you know, that's been offered to us by Yahweh Shai. Yeah. You know, you have to make good use of the blood of Yahweh Shai. You don't let that blood waste, yeah. you know. And as uh, really that, that brother, that Yahala, is a beautiful example, you know, because, you know, upon everything he was going through, he never denounced the name, he never stopped walking, yeah. you know, he kept believing in the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And this is that particular test that's going to come to many of us in different ways, as written in the, is it the book of uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the first chapter. My son, if you come to, if you come to serve the Second, Lord, uh, Sirach chapter two, Sirach chapter two, you yeah. know, my son, if you come to serve the Lord, prepare your soul for for temptation. Yeah. You know, these temptations are going to come in different forms. You know, exactly. Verse two, and and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses. Yeah, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore do hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai. And that's really the point. And doing hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai because he called us to be soldiers. He called us to be part of his military, part of his army. Because you have to understand, the liberation of this kingdom is not the light thing to see in upon. We always speak about the salvation that we're going to receive. Yeah, but that's the greatest honor that you can be, uh, can be, you can be entitled to, that can be put upon you. The honor of being saved by the Lord himself. He sent out those angels to to, to um, get his elect from the four winds. So you should understand that we are working to the towards the greatest honor ever seen. And that's what the scripture says. Committed unto faithful men. This truth is not for everyone. So that this man passed away is a, is a, is a actually a great faith booster, man. Because we know that the Heavenly Father has mercy upon whom he has mercy. God. This was an act of mercy, this actually. It was an act of mercy. You should not see it as how the Heavenly Father took him up. No, the Heavenly Father had mercy upon him. Because he took him out of his suffering. He said it's enough. You know? And verse 4, it says, No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier. Like the was going into. I can, just yeah. like I was going into, man. You know? This man uh, this man had the, the, the full um the full understanding that what he was going through is uh, is not is not a battle against um, flesh and blood. You know, mm -hmm. he knew this was a battle against principalities and powers and high places. You know, he stood still as a soldier, man. He didn't put down his weapon. He didn't. Uh, he didn't. He didn't. Um, he didn't. He didn't entangle himself with the problems that he had. And then he said, "Okay, he's not going to camp. He's not doing this. He's not teaching no more. He denounced the name. He didn't bug out. You know." Yeah. And which in this situation that this man found himself, this brother, the brother uh, Daniel Allah. There are people that are going to catch not even a quarter and they bug the hell out, you know? Exactly, that's the point because he caused so much hell. You know, he was not he wasn't losing the faith. And that's what it's all about. Not losing the hope because you should be everyday faithful. You know? I just want to conclude yeah, finish, uh, finish. the point in the James four because you know the title of the lesson is um, um today might be your last your last day. You never can tell. Mm -hmm. You know, the most I Yahweh Hashem El Shai is the father of all spirits. He has given you the opportunity to be here. He has given each one of us the opportunity to be here. And he can require our life at any time. So this is the book of James 4, 13. It says, Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow, we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. You know? Whereas ye, you, ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time, and then vanish it away. Exactly. So you see, uh, people making plans tomorrow, this, oh, uh, this also speaks about people who are after the careers, heavy careers of this world. Their eyes are not, is not really single to the kingdom of heaven that's yet to come. You know, all your plans, it's all vain, man, because the most time I desire your life anytime you want. In the next one minute, in the next two seconds, the most time I take my life away. You know, he's the father of all spirit. He decides to do what he wants and no one can question that you know that's why you see you always need to you, you always need to be found prepared like like yahush i said who is that faithful servant at the return of, of his of his master is found doing what he's meant to be doing yeah. the most time i require a life at any time 
And what are you going to do? Are you man enough to stand before the Most High and, and be like, yeah, I did the best that I could do? Yeah. You know? And, and this is why the scriptures speak about also in the book of Luke. Um, when we have done all what the Lord requires of us, we should be we should say of our, ourselves we are unprofitable servants uh -huh. because we just did what the Lord required of us and nothing more. And this is the mentality that you should have, but this the mentality should not bring you into self doubt. It should uh -huh. just be a motivator and fuel to do more. Uh -huh. And let me just read some precepts because the precepts that we mentioned about us uh, put on the common board. It's the water for the Akiyam on the common board. Um, and let me read this here. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 57, verse 1. Um, it says, The righteous perisheth, and no man laveth to heart, and merciful men are taken away, none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. God, like God. we mentioned before, man, he just got preserved and, and, and saved from the... That's mercy, man. From the from common uh, tribulations, because also, I think, when was it? I don't know, when my grandpa passed away, I think like three, four years, not two, three years ago. And also when he passed away, um, the brother Gubal and I was standing there and was like, hey, actually, I haven't found a mercy upon him, man. Because he doesn't have to go through the trials and tribulation, the hardship that we're about to enter. He doesn't have to go through these things. He got preserved, you know. And he also had cancer. Yeah. Um, he also had cancer and he died to that. So um, also, let me read this here. Um, Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which you have shewed toward his name. And that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. So all the works that uh, the, the brother, the beautiful brother Daniel Hala, you know, all the works he has done, the Most High is not going to forget everything, you know. Everything is going to be counted as righteousness to him, you yeah, know, yeah, for standing yeah. as a soldier even to the last breath. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. This is because it's all about keeping your faith. Because when you think about Job, right? Job got um, tested by Satan himself. Satan came, gave him the boils, took everything away. These things happen, but what did Satan ultimately want? He wants him to turn against every father to lose the faith. That's what it's all about. It's about your faith in, this, in the Heavenly Father. Because it's easy to just go back into the world because when you go to all the pains and go to, to all the sufferings and to the mental um, battles that we have, it's easy to say we go back to the world, but this equals losing the faith, you know? Hey, and uh, it's it's really spiritual the book of Job because hey, the most I actually believed in Job, man. Yeah. When Satan, the, the most I actually presented uh, Job to Satan, I was like, have you seen that uh, my servants? You know, there is none like him. Yeah. So in yeah. whichever trial the most I bring to you, the most I believes in you. Yeah. Exactly. Every father has faith in you, so you should uh, repay their faith with faith, man. <laughs> faith in yeah. Him. You know, because most I believes in you, man. Exactly, because the scriptures speak about um, in, in Second Chronicles 15, it speaks about um, the, the I think it was a prophet all that he spoke to Asa, the king of Judah, the southern kingdom. He said, "Hey, if you forsake the Lord, then every father gonna forsake you. Okay. If you're gonna call upon him, you're gonna answer. So it's all about us, because every father is there. If you believe in the Lord, he's gonna repay you for that. If you call upon him, he's gonna answer." So we just have to do our part because every father is going to do his part. Definitely. You can be Undoubtedly. dead sure on yeah. that. You know, you can, let us say, always in the world, you can put your hand to the fire, man. Can. You know, for that. You can bank on that. Exactly. You know, if you can bet on somebody, you should bet on the Lord, man, because he's going to keep his word. He's going to keep his word. Definitely. He's going to man that he should lie. Can. You know, because we lie, we make mistakes, we come for sure, we say something, we want to do this, then the Heavenly Father tries everything around, we can't do it. You know, things like that happen. But let me read the scripture here in Revelation. Revelation 14 and 13, to just as a precept for Hebrews 6 and 10. It says, And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, save the spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. All those people that died in the Most High, Yahweh, Shem Yahshai, Believing, man. All those people that die believing, you know, doing the work to the very end, hey, yeah. it's a, that, that death is actually a blessing and a liberation for yeah. them, man. You know? Yeah. It's a blessing and a liberation from them. And the scripture also tells you about the times that are about to come. Some of us are, are going to be martyrs, man. We're going to lose our life for this thing, you know? Yeah. And Yahweh Shai also told you that whosoever shall lose his life for my sake, and in other words, gain it, man. Yeah. And whosoever will want to save his life, you know, he shall lose it. The same shall lose it. 
Exactly. So all the people that died and walk in the right walk for the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, hey, it's a blessing, man. It's a blessing, you know. Just like that thief, you know, that was crucified uh, alongside Yahweh Shai. This thief never knew anything about righteousness, but he believed Yahweh Shai. And that last second, Yahweh Shai told him that you'll be sitting at my right hand. What, what did Yahweh Shai say? You know? Oh yeah, uh, you're gonna enter with me into paradise. Into paradise, man. I remember it. You know? Yeah, um, I just wanna look up the one scripture. Okay, life, and lose. And I have another precept. Because... What precept are you looking for? Uh, that you mentioned. If you, if you lose the life for your house, you're going to gain it. Ah, okay, I'll get it. But, okay. um, but it's the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, and let me start at verse 13. It says, But I would have not would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, which means they died, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. See, so we should not sorrow because of Daniel Allah. We should not be in a heavy spirit because of Danya Allah. We should not be in a heavy spirit for any brother that dies in this truth believing. Why? Because the hopeless are, tra are, are, are traumatized and are suffering and uh, are suffering and are troubled and sorrow. Why? Because they don't understand what actually happened. We understand that he got liberated from his chain, from his prison. We understand that the spirit is in peace right now, but the other ones don't understand that because they don't have hope. But we have hope, so we have to understand. We don't need to sorrow. We should praise the Lord and thank Him that you, that you liberated this brother, actually. Kind. Just you know? like I said at the beginning, if you're in this truth, you understand that death is a scam. There is yeah. nothing like death. Yeah. Okay, death does not exist. Exactly. The only, only thing that happens is that you, that you, you flesh kicks in. Your, as yeah. in, as in other, any other situation, your flesh kicks in, you know? Because scriptures speak about the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Kind. So in life, death situation, your, your flesh is scared, but your spirit, your spirit is, is strong. But verse 14, for if we believe that Yahweh Shai died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Yahweh Shai will the most high bring with him. Uh -huh. See, so like we read in Revelation, they the, 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 the men that died in the Lord from henceforth, the works will follow them, they're gonna come back with Yahweh Shai. And it says verse 15, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them. Which are asleep, and they will prevent them, which means um, pre before they near to go. We won't go before them that died in the Lord. They're going to be first with the Lord. Okay. And that's what the thing is. So he, he, he's one of the first that's going to be with the Lord. Yahweh okay. Rakhazah. You know, and if we if we survive until the point of Yahweh Shai coming back, we're going to come later. We're going to join later. Okay. So that's really the understanding of the situation. And the now for you, seeing the situation, this could be your last day. This could be your last day in this truth. You know, and as we always say, the 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 because how you grow in the truth is a process, also the the fall of out of this truth is a process. But you have to understand that hey, the heaven father can also take you off from today to tomorrow, man. Okay. That's also a thing. The heaven father can do what he wants. You know. But do you have a scripture? Yeah. Or the scripture no, when, when, when you're done. Um oh yeah, verse sixteen. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first. See, the dead in Yahweh Shai. The men that die believing Yahweh Shai going to be first with the Lord. Verse 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. As a matter of fact, you know, the book of Revelation told you that Yahweh Shai has won over death, you know. So, as I said, death is a total scam, man. Just forget about it. Yahweh Shai has won over death. Uh, yeah. If you're in this truth, you know, death is nothing, man, you know. First Corinthians speaks about that. Okay. Death wears a sting, okay. you know. Why? Because the sting of death is sin. Yahweh Shai covered it with his blood. Okay. So, we are forgiven for our sins that we committed. And commit to the blood of Yahweh Shai, so death has no power over us. Okay. You know? Yeah, man. So, speaking on um, today could be your last day, yeah. what manner of men are we meant to be? Yeah. This is the book of Matthew 16 24. 
Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciple, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. You know, so taking up your cross and following Yahweh Shai, you, need, you really need to deny yourself, man. You know, whatever comes upon you, take cheerfully, you know, and count it as the will of the most high Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. Because most definitely when you come into this truth, you're going to be tested, you know. Um, the Most High has prepared different tests for different brothers. Some brothers might be catching extra hell than others, you know. But it's all the will of the Most High Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. And He, the Most High Yahweh Shai, um, He doesn't give you anything that you can't handle, you know. I got a scripture here. Okay, go. First Corinthians 10 and 13. There is no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. But the most is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. And a good soldier is not going to be complaining that he got shot on the leg. A good soldier is going to try to tie the wound up and try to move on. Because if he remains in the position where he is, he becomes a, he becomes a prey to his, uh, to his enemies. Okay. And also liability to his comrades. Can't. It becomes a liability to his comrades and when once it becomes a liability to his comrades it slows down the, the mission you know it changes the plans of the mission and the mission uh, he, he doing this could cost the life of many other other comrades you see so a real soldier gets a bullet in the leg he ties it up he takes it out of men and he moves on you know this is exactly what we want to do this is what the scripture is saying if any man will come after me let him deny himself yeah. okay a good soldier is not going to take a bullet in the leg and just turns to the to, 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 to the to the commander and start complaining and start. Hey, you see, I told you now they shot me on my face. It's all your fault. It's all your it's fault. All your fault I told man. You. I thought you go left. You want to go right, man? Fuck it up, man. Fuck it up. Hey, man. But they do something. Like that, yeah, yeah, that's it. You know, they do like they they, they lack the skill. They want to blame everybody else, man. Always They're complaining, man. you know. They're fucking annoying. Man. <laughs> so you see, you really need to carry your cross, and that cross you need to carry it all by yourself, man. Because another man has his own cross to carry. You know, you yeah. can't put your cross on another man. It becomes heavy for both both of you, and you might end up not even being able to to move on again. So two men down instead of one man. Exactly. Of course, the scriptures speak about bear one another's burden. Can't. But you should not lay unnecessary burden upon mm, your brother. Can't, can't. Just the necessary because, for example, if this brother's in a jam or I'm in a jam, we're going to fix each other up. Can't. You know? Like, hey, in this trip, we fix each other up like crazy, man. You know, the brother pay, pay for the food, I'll pay for one food, the other brother pay for some food. Everything got fixed up in the spirit. This is how we carry each other's burden, but we should not unnecessarily put more burden upon the brothers because we all got our own burdens, man. Can't. You, you got your own life, man. Okay. You know, and also like the other apostle said, nobody can give you salvation but yourself, man. Okay. This is what they always say. This way, this way they always push upon us. Do your videos. Do your studies. Do your sit-downs. Do what you need to be doing to make it. Because we can't make you make it. You have to make it. And really, those are the things that are really going to help you to stand the fiery darts of the enemy. Yeah. These are the things that are um, doing these things that the brothers just mentioned. Doing your lessons, studying, you know. Watching yeah. videos, these are the things that are going to keep you going, right? Is it why? Because it keep keeps feeding your faith. Can't. You know, like like the like the Native American story of the two wolves, the bad and the good wolf, the black and the, uh, the white wolf. And the, the story goes like this: um, the wolf that you're gonna feed is the one that's gonna win. Can't. So if you, f f for example, the black with the dark, the, say the the black wolf is the is the wolf of doubt, represents doubt, and the white wolf represents faith. So if you feed the doubt, you worry about yourself and you, you worry about everything, this wolf can overcome the faith. But if you feed the faith, the wolf of faith, the wolf of faith can overcome the dark wolf, which is doubting. Okay. So you have to always remember that and always understand and look at the situations and things that you can do to feed your faith because that's the key to our salvation. It's all start with faith and going to end with faith. Okay. What, does, what does Scripture say? Because that was... Um, because thou hast kept the word of uh, my patience. Yeah, I will also be with you in the revelation. Our temptation. Our temptation. Three and ten, I'll take it. And also on top of that, it says, um, as a matter of fact, let me grab that. I don't know which it's Revelation. Revelation 3 and 10, I got it. Uh, 3 and 10, but can you go to Revelation 2 and 26? Okay. I think it's 2 26. I got um, it. Can't. Yeah, I got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
This is Revelation 2 and 20, 26. It says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Exactly, he that keeps the works unto the end. And how is the person keeping it? Through the faith. Only through faith we do on these things. Oh, so like it's Revelation 2 and 10. That's what I was thinking about. Okay, 2 yeah. and 10. I got it. Yeah. This is the uh, book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 10. It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, as the brother actually suffered a lot of of pains and mm -hmm. through his body through 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 his mind and everything mm -hmm. you know he didn't feel all this all these things you know he said behold the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation ten days be thou uh, be thou uh, uh, faithful unto death see and faithful. faithful because the word faithful goes it's a compound word it means faith and full full means to be full of and faith means fidera which means trust trust in what in the lord so you have to be full of trust in the Lord and the Lord is going to protect you. That shows you that it all starts with faith because through faith you enter into the body of Yahweh Shai, you know, and they're going to end with faith. Yeah. I'll just read one for a couple of um, definitions, definitions of, Which one of faithful, the, the Thea's definition. Or the um, the word faithful, right? Yeah, it says, it's G41. It's G, G4103, yeah. okay, it means our uh, pistos. Mm -hmm. Okay, it says of person who shows themselves faithful in the transaction of business. See? And that business, um, yeah, yeah, how I said it, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm about my father's business. Exactly. And two, remember the parable of the talents Tell that us. we were given. Yep. This is business, you know. The wise, the wise servants actually invested those talents yeah. and he came back with extra, extra profits for his master. Yeah. And this is what we want to do. Yeah. And it says um, the execution of commands or the discharge of official duties. Uh, we are all members of this body, like we like we said in the other day. Mm -hmm. uh, we all have duties in this truth, yeah, you know. Yeah. And each person needs to um, uh, each person needs to cover his own duties very well. If not, uh, uh, um, in his lack of 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 being on um, what do you call it? In his lack of being on um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, lack of words this day. In his lack of being responsible for his duties, yeah, you know. In his lack of responsibilities. It creates problem to the body, you know. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like we said in the camp, because we're speaking about it, we are all one body. And if just the tiniest thing, like yesterday, I was walking in the woods, and there was like an insect or something that bit me, or it was on the mountains, so like, and it bit me on my or something, stung me or whatever. And my body instinct was reacted. All my attention went to that. Why? Because one part was attacked or was injured or something. And it was just a tiny little. Piece. Yeah, it was just a little, little um, what is it? Little part of my skin. It was nothing deep or something, but all the attention went to it. So also in the body, if just the, the smallest member, you know, when you think about your body, just a cell is injured, and your body gonna react to it, man. Huh. So this is why you have to always check yourself, like what's been, been saying the whole week, you know, check your health, get your character straight, examine yourself. It was going into these things, but it all sums up to what we all want to make it, man. Huh. And this is why we have to do these things because they're all gonna build up our faith, you know. So if you want, I can close up with this scriptures, or if not, if you... yeah. Um, uh, what is it? Did you finish the two and ten? Um, I believe so. Can you 10. read the last part? Um, be yeah, faithful to the day. Can I give you the crown flag? Like Revelation yeah. two and ten, and also verse eleven. Okay, this is Revelation. I'll read straight up from ten, and the point is actually eleven. Mm -hmm. Say, fear not of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried. And ye shall have tribulation ten days, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. See the crown of life, man. Hey, when I always think about that, it's like you get the eternal body, you know, the, 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 the eternal life. And then on top of that, you get the crown, which represents rulership. You know, because we're going to be ruling forever. So this is what we're waiting for. But we have to, for that, we have to remain faithful in the Lord. Come. It says, verse 11, either heart and hear. Let him hear mm -hmm. what the Spirit said unto the churches. Yeah. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Exactly, the second death is a death by fire, by nuclear missiles. So you have to understand that if you overcome, which means maintain your faith until the end, you're going to be preserved from the most terrible death like never seen before. So do that. Keep your faith. And um, you got another scripture? As a matter of fact, you know, speaking of that death, yeah. because you see, there's deaths now that the brother Daniela died. You know, this is not death, man. You know, this is not death. As a matter of fact, the scripture tells you that um, 
don't fear he who can kill the body, but fear he who can kill either the body and the spirit, you know. Exactly. And which that's the most I have was Shimi Oshai. The major death is the second death that's coming, and that's a very painful death that you can't even our minds cannot even imagine what, what that is. Yeah, this is why the heavenly father is gonna be feared to that because there's something unimaginable. Yeah, we have certain what is it, um simulations of ESO showing what happens in the nuclear uh, when a nuclear bomb hits, but that shit it, it is was terrible, never witnessed. Man. It's the same thing as in the time of Noah. That's why it's called the first and second death. Because that's something that never happened. We saw many people die through this war, through guns and movies. We saw all that. That's like a common thing, but to have death in that major scale, in that destructive manner, was never seen on the earth. You know? Um, you got another scripture? Yeah, I just wanted to end up with the... Yeah, because you have to still read the um, second Corinthians 3. Okay. With the Holy Ghost. Let's close on that. Okay. Yeah. So, to end up the book of Matthew 16, you know, I'll read from verse 25. It says, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. You know, you should remember the, the Maccabees brothers, man. They lost, they lost their life for the faith of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Those are examples for us. You should remember the old man. What's the old man's name? Um, El 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 Elias. Matathias. Matathias. Okay, was it? You mean the father? The, no, not the father. You know the the one that they actually tried to bribe. They brought oh, him. They brought him uh, lawful flesh, man. flesh, and they yeah. told him to act like he was unlawful, unlawful flesh. Yeah, yeah. You know, I forgot about these this. are all even Stephen, the the, uh, the 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 disciple Stephen. These are all um, these are all examples for us. You know, not to fear what man can do to us. The kind of death that we can fall fall short of of, of dying in this world right now. The major death is when Yahushai comes. You know. And so, on top of that, everything is predestined. Can. I was predestined that Stephen gonna die to that. Can. And like like the brother posted already also in the comment board, that's gonna quote it. For whatever things were written before, and written for our learning, for our learning that we can. took patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Can. Because that should be confident to you. Because what happened in Stephen's time, his spirit was taken up by the Heavenly Father. Can. You know? And he what he even asked for mercy for the people that stoned the man. That shows this shows the righteousness of this man. You know? But you have to understand, man, hey. Focus on the focus on the goal, man. Yeah, we we talk always about balance, and we need to keep our balance to maintain that that race that we in, to endure it until the end. But you really have to focus, man, because we're in time of distractions, man. You know, we're in time of distraction. We're in time there where uh, everything is just distracting you, man. Huh. You open up your phone, there comes so many ads. Do, 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 do. You're like, hey, what the fuck's going on, man? Then you, you, you check the time, 20, 30 minutes are gone. You're like, shit, what's going on? So we are in the age of information, but we are also in the age of distraction, man. Uh -huh. There's so much things that normally you're back and say, what, what, what did you do? You maybe play a little bit of video games when you was younger and was going outside. Right now, the, the children are 24-7 on the phone. Why? Because there's, there's never-ending activity going there. Uh -huh. Never-ending. Oh, yeah, I can watch this series. Oh, I can play this game. Oh, there's this game. Everything is easy accessible, you know, but we have to always... Um, what is it? Control ourselves and always remind ourselves what we actually in this life. Why we're in this life? Why yeah, did we receive what the this? mission? Is actually exactly, you know, what is the mission? It's also a good title, actually. What is the mission? And, and yeah. speaking and speaking on balance, you know, I just you know, I always like making mm -hmm. use of a, a soldier, yeah, to give you an example of a soldier, you know, mm -hmm. because actually, we're soldiers of Yao Shai, yeah, like you read, okay. A real soldier actually has a perfect balance, you know. A soldier don't don't carry um, an AK-47 mm -hmm. and fuse all his pocket with only ammunition, yeah. you know. Because there is going to get to a time that maybe you might need some water to drink, you know. You can't just pack all ammunition and leave water behind and leave um, your first kit behind. Yeah. And the same thing, you can't pack all that stuff and leave your ammunition behind. Yeah. So as a good soldier has a, a perfect balance in a pocket he has his ammunition and the other side he has his first aid kit and the other side he has a uh, he has his like, food and water and all that you know you need to keep that balance man you have to be well equipped with everything well for equipped thing. with everything man yeah. you know with every need for thing because this is why it says in Ephesians chapter six put on the armor of the heavenly father Can't. the shield of faith the the helmet of salvation Can't. you know and to close it up second Peter chapter three and verse ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, 
in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And the, the day of the Lord Yahweh Shinyo Shai shall come as a thief in the night to those who are not watching. Because we are actually called to watch and pray. You yeah. know? So all those who are not watching who are making mockery right now of what we're doing, you know, the day of the Lord Yahweh Shinyo Shai is gonna come as a thief in the night when they don't even expect. Now uh, all, all prophecies are being um being made manifest right before your eyes, but people are taking this thing for a joke, they're laughing. It's speaking every day about in on the TV in Italy right now. The the, the key word is um what do you call it? Artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. That's the key word. When you turn on the TV, that's what they're talking about all day, every day. Yeah, preparing them. preparing the mind. They talk. They're talking about uh they, they pass the laws on on digital currency on digital ID. But you know certain people are laughing, making mockery and all that. You see, when the day of the Lord Yahweh Shemuel Shai comes, it's gonna catch these people on, 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 unexpectedly. You know, but you that you're watching. And you're praying, you're, 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 you're making treasures of these words that we're giving you, which this word is life. And this word is Yahweh Shai. You're making treasure of it, you're going to be saved. It's not going, That day is not going to come like a thief in the night on that day, okay? Yeah, and that's what it is, man. And that's why you always have to be working. You always have to be in the scriptures, even if you have no time. Because sometimes you work, like the like was talking to one brother, you're working all day. You know, you're thinking about, hey, you all have to do a little bit of overshift over, over time because, you know, hey, I have to... Um, have to get more money for this month because hey, money is just, I don't have enough. Things are gonna happen, but you should think in your mind that hey, soon it's gonna end. You know, your mind should be active concerning this truth. But to finish off verse 10, then read this verse 11, it says, um, And the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Uh, no yeah. holy conversation yeah. and godliness and to close it up yeah. i'm going to repeat this verse from the book of matthew yeah. 16 24. let me just uh, okay we're gonna, because the conversation speaks about your behavior so what kind of behavior you're going to put forth a godly behavior according to the word of the lord or like hey i'm going to live my lavish life because i know it's going to end the, the brother and the other could do that yep yeah, yo let me just go back to the word because i have cancer anyways but let he kept just, Let me just leave it off. The last exactly. Minute. Let me just, you know, have fun time. YOLO, you know what I'm saying? YOLO. But no, it's the main, the, 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 the faith and the, the, the understanding prevail the lust of the flesh. And that's what we need to be doing. We have to order ourselves right, you know, and do the necessary things for the Lord, man. So, yeah. God. So you, you said what, what manner of man ought we to be in all our conversation. In all, all the conversation. Mm -hmm. then, God, yes. yeah. So in Matthew 16, 24, then Yahweh Shai said unto his disciples, We are all disciples of Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. You Shai. Know, he says, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. It's beautiful. You, know, you have to deny yourself, man. You have to deny yourself and follow Yahweh Shai. Just stuff, like man. what you were saying about the brother you were speaking to about the jobs and all that, you know, oh, yeah. you needed to work, you know. Yeah. Hey, sometimes you just have to deny yourself and pick up that cross and follow Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah, man. And Yahushua said, hey, my burden is light, man. Right, <laughs> hey, follow right. me. And that's what right. it is. And so, that's really, it's all fit because mm -hmm. Yahushua says, think not of what you're going to eat tomorrow or what you're going to do. Don't worry. What, what do you know? Maybe you, okay, you, you say, okay, uh, I'll leave this too much hours. I need to dedicate more time to the most time. The most time I just open a big, a bigger door for you, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And the most time needs to put you in the position for you to get a miracle, you know? Yeah. Hey, I'm telling you also that because the brother just mentioned it, because also with me, I was thinking like, hey, I don't do enough for the Heavenly Father I do, I don't, I don't utilize my time enough, you know, folks don't focus my time enough for the truth, but then I got fixed up with my job with different working hours, now I got also more time. So the Heavenly Father is going to give you what you need, but you have to do what you need to be doing, man. Cool. You know, and hey, as, as the title says, man, this could be a last day, don't forget that, don't let this bug you out, but let us be a motivation for your faith, you know? You got something else? No, I'm good. Man. So yeah, man, hey, with that, we want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles who are convinced and told us the truth. Sure. Peace and blessings and salutations to the elect out there who spread this truth with sincerity and also charity across four winds. And hey, don't forget the mighty acts of faith that we have in our time even. Like we said, I think a few days also ago, you yourself have enough example in your life to boost your faith, man. That's true. On top of that, you got the scriptures. So think upon your life and keep it moving, man. Keep on pushing because you are out of service in all of you, man. 
And you never you never know who who is looking up to you, man. In this exactly. Room. You never know who is looking up to you. So don't <laughs> don't don't put down brothers, man. You never know who's watching, man. And you never know who's watching. Man. That's what it is. So, hey, until next one. Show on. About the bar. Show on. Show on. Show on. Hey, man. We should be teaching together. <laughs> it's good, eh? <laughs>